This quick tutorial will show you how to use the Content Aware Fill Tool to replace an area with another part of your image. So for example, I'm going to select this image here because a little bit of the flash setup has gotten in the way and we have some flowers that I don't want in the image. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go to my right hand side here where I have my background and I'm going to make a duplicate copy. So I'm going to click and drag down and drop it over the little icon with the folded piece of paper. That will create a duplicate copy so that if I don't like something I did, I can always get rid of the copy and have the original underneath. You can also right click for those of you who use PC and you can go into duplicate layer and that will make a duplicate copy as well. Okay, so over here I have the flash set up and some of the flowers that I don't want in this image. So I can go to my lasso tool and it's not the quick selection tool. You want to go to lasso tool. And then I want to put my feathering at zero. The reason why I say this here is because I have material that goes right up against the edge. If I were to put my feathering at say 20 pixels, when I select all the way to the edge, I'm just clicking and dragging and drawing a shape around this. When I go up to actually do the content aware fill, I go up to edit, fill, content aware fill, and I click OK, once this fills in, you're going to see some edge that isn't filled in because I feathered it. So feathering is great if you have content in the middle, like right here where you want to blend those two edges together. But feathering, if you have to include the very edge of an image, will leave some of this material behind because it feathers in the edges. And that flash setup is right on the edge. So if I want to do this the right way, when I have something on the edge, not in the middle, I can go to feather zero. Let me change that to zero. And then when I select right up to the very edge, I can then go to edit, fill, content aware fill. There's a variety of options here. Choose content aware and then click OK. Give it a moment to process. and all of that material is now gone. If you need to fill in in certain areas, I can go then to my clone tool, which is the clone stamp here, right? I want clone stamp. And then I get my brush. I want to make sure that my brush is at 0% hardness. That will feather the edges of this brush really nicely so that I can then zoom in to some of these areas down here that look a little blotchy and fill them in. To do that, I want to click on my Alt or my Command key if I'm on a Mac. I hold my Alt key down or Command key down. I click with my mouse to select an area that I'd like it to look like. And then I go in and click with my mouse and paint over here. And that fills that in nicely. Now, I'm using 18% opacity at the top here. That means that when I'm brushing over, it's only 18% opacity of the area that I had selected. So I could go all the way up to 100% opacity and it would be 100% of the area that I've selected would be painted over here. But sometimes you don't want that because it might look too obvious that you're cloning. So in that case, I used a softer 18% uh, opacity, it makes it a little more transparent and I can play with this and blend it a little bit more. So just to show you a really obvious example, 12% opacity, if I were to select these foxglove, and clone them over here. So I was over here, I clicked Alt, and then I clicked my mouse. And if I go over here, that's what 18% opacity looks like, right? You can barely see that. But if I went to, or excuse me, 12% opacity, if I went to 100% and I selected this over here by clicking Alt or Command and then clicking my mouse, you can see when I paste over here that 100% opacity uh, looks more obvious that I've cloned that. So that's the difference. You can be kind of subtle with what you're doing. But that's all that is, is using your clone stamp to fill in if you'd like to. Content Aware Fill by going to Edit, Fill, and then Content Aware Fill. That tool works well. Or the third tool to kind of clean up some things is your healing brush. And I can go to the Spot Healing Brush or the Healing Brush. I'll choose Spot Healing Brush. 
I can change the size of my brush by hitting my right or left bracket key. And then I can go in with my spot healing brush and I can clean up like this down here, little dust spots and things. So there was a couple little dust spots on this and I can clean those up just by using that spot healing brush and I can make the brush as big or as small as I need to to do so. So those are three simple ways to remove things from your image that you don't want in your image. Now, uh, one last thing, I still have parts of this bird feeder showing over here. I can go in, whoops, there we go. Let me go back to my clone tool. I can go in with my clone stamp tool. I'm gonna make a really fine brush here. I can go in and zoom really, really big in here and make my brush even smaller. I can grab some content over here and start filling in in those areas if your bird feeder is still showing. But you've really got to be careful that you are cloning a similar color in here and that you're going in with a very small brush to get into those edges. So I've really got to pay close attention in here and really follow my edges quite well. And you may have to select different material from time to time. Every time I go over here, I'm clicking Alt and clicking my mouse to grab a sample. And then I'm following my brush along the edges of this flower. I can change the hardness of my brush from being really soft to more of a defined line at the edge. And sometimes that can help me get into these really tight spots and not bleed into the actual flower. But that's a little bit of part art, part science for you to figure out as you're going along. But I certainly can do it with a hard brush. If you get your brush too hard, which means you'll get a very straight, solid line, not anything that's feathered or blended, it can start to look a little artificial. So this is with 100% uh, hardness and you can see that the edges of this flower when I use that start to get really really hard looking and that can start to look fake and look like you've pasted it in so I'm going to zoom back out and you can see how these edges are too hard compared to the natural edges so again your hardness yeah try 40 to 60 somewhere in there see how it works for you and uh, play around with it a little bit but that is how you can remove some of the bird feeder if it is in amongst your image. Okay, I hope that tutorial is helpful for you. Have a wonderful day and I wish you success.